You can't see a lot of air pollution, but if you could, would it look like this? Parts of the capital do breach legal limits for pollution. Run it, girl, run it. At Hamo Primary in Eltham, they're next to busy roads. Here, they've introduced a ban on vehicles at school drop-off time. What ideas do we have? Because we've got £10,000 to spend from the Mayor's office. What and many pupils here to... have asthma. If me and my mum are walking down the street and there's a car that's just idling, I start coughing and coughing and coughing and coughing. We're going get, to get like a garden with um, ivy and bamboo and like small willow trees to help all the pollution. Maybe we should have more plants around the whole school, like just to help clean it and get, make it the best it can with the air. A lot of our children have asthma and some of the teachers who have worked here have developed asthma over the years actually. We're surrounded on three sides by very, very busy roads and we're out in the playground an awful lot of the day for our PE lessons, our play times and our lunch times and this is the air that we're breathing in. Today, the mayor launched a trial of these monitoring backpacks. They contain sensors that measure nitrogen dioxide and particulate matter. The data will help to show the cleanest routes and target more action to reduce car use around schools. We'll be able to spot the hotspot of air pollution along their journey to school, and maybe they'll change and then their commute to school and use more uh, less polluted area or back routes. In three weeks' time, the mayor launches his ultra-low emission zone, or ULES. Broadly, it'll mean petrol vehicles over 13 years old and diesel vehicles over four will have to pay £12.50 a day to enter the congestion charging zone. Are you expecting opposition to the ULES because there will be some? Oh, look, there's been lots of opposition from the Conservatives to our plans to clean up the air in London with the ultra-low emission zone coming in uh, in three weeks' uh, time. I'm clear in my mind it's the right thing to do as part of a package of measures, cleaning up our buses, cleaning up our taxis, encouraging more people to walk, cycle, use public transport, making sure we have low emission bus zones, making sure we have an ultra-low emission zone which builds on the work of the toxicity charge. We want to do much, much more to clean up the air in our city. It is a killer. There are concerns London isn't ready for the ULES. City Hall concedes it can't please everyone. It begins on April the 8th. Tom Edwards, BBC London News.